It's a rainy and grungy day here at Muddy Hard Crash Field in Micro Hard, Washington. It's a perfect sloppy stage for some NFL football or a tribute to Woodstock 94. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Los Scandalous Dam take on the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Oh, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrill, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Oh, you idiot. And it's first and ten. blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of the video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defender. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. First and ten. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Dad, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Second down and more than the QB would like. No, oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that is a big game. You know the defense wants some payback after that. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points, and let's move on. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And Brick 
Coach, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Second and three. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, and that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. down and five. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and six. The QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and six. And the QB might as well just bury himself now. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. This sort can really dance, huh? And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And that'll be second and eight to go. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're gonna do Oh man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for a steak kebab? Make mine rare. Second down and nine. Seven yards on that play. Third and two. And he snatches that 
one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and nine. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, it anything really tastes good. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Not and the ref just called a bullshit penalty. <laughs> Third down and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Hot one, hot two, hot... Oh, my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! Well, he had it for a second there. Well, I hope the kicker ate his bleedies this morning. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personnel. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Cheska say. What the fu 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 fuck? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And he's on the worst team dirty trick. This play is usually good for a quick score because no one can He's out to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can see that, Pam. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, and he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. And he 
shuffled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, it's a punishing hit. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snaps. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Hot two. Hot right. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky finds his head. He'll be okay. Second down and two. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim. Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And that'll bring up third down and in inches. Hot one, hot two, hot somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And like a monkey trying to... Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, you're up. And that's it. That's the last timeout. It's score or die from here out. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. In a very up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. A good heads-up play there, getting it out of bounds, better than throwing a pick. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks.
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two. quarterback many passing lanes to hit a receiver nice block by the defense there they don't do anything stupid here just pump the damn ball and play defense he boomed that one let's see if they can get a return the return man catches the ball and heads up field oh that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and nine. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Second down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? 
Oh, yeah, I pictured that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't this nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. the ball to the player behind him. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep him guessing. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. down and the punter is warming up. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! Second down and a lot. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And the ref is picking up a lot of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's primed, you idiot. Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. That's a big gain run on that. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Third down, and, well, good luck. Quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They play to be turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick, and anything he touches gets floppy. for what not to do on fourth down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Strike lightning, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. The 20. The 10. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. <laughs> first.
first and eight to go. And the defense goes for the jug. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? Oh, did we get out of it? The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First and four. He's not going down. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. play but to blow up on a play that is the team and i should learn from this he's dead you moron Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Pitchfork in this guy because he's done. And now the ground screw is going to use a pitchfork to toss him onto the mutant meat wagon. Hey, hey Grim, wouldn't it make more sense to use a spatula? Yeah, good point. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Pass and catch for three. Receiver needs to break some tackles. Third down and the punter is warming up.
punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. This is your brain. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And like bricks and fouls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Man, look at him dance. <laughs> he can't help himself. I thought robots aren't supposed to feel emotions. Looks like someone needs to watch Blade Runner again. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. First and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws his stop for the first down. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. And it's first and ten. Nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their feet. They spent their dirty trick ain't there on a kill me. It's like they're fighting an anteater. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Boom! First and ten. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. Second down and more than the QB would like. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gord, did it? How good can it be? The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Uh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. And how about a little dirt sandwich? 
The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so... And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for... The micro-hard mutilators lose the game today. They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...